this time, Matt, you're going to, uh, you're going to approach with your right arm as if, as if you're going to strike, you're going to slap, or you're going to grab her by the neck. Carmen, you're going to block with your left hand, you're going to pop in and do a shoulder throw, self-defense. Again, good job. Nice, again. Good. Ball. Karen, same thing. Matt's going to attack you. Good. Nice. Good. Very good job. Carmen, grab that little knife. Matt, this time you're going to be striking down from above with a knife. Karen, you're going to block and shoulder throw. Keep an eye on that knife. Keep control of that knife. Again. Ooh, she's already ahead of me, man. She's doing the next technique. Very good, very good. Ball, Carmen. Knife attack from above. Good. Nice. Okay, Carmen, this time the knife is coming from above. You're gonna do uh, you're gonna do an arm bar over the shoulder, get him to drop the knife, kick the knife out of your way, and then do a shoulder throw. Good, a little faster. Oh, very nice, very nice. Very nice arm bar over the shoulder. Focus on that elbow. Get the pressure on that elbow where it needs to be. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Excellent. Now we're moving. Good job, Carmen. Good. Bow. Karen, you try that technique. Knife stab from above. Arm bar over the shoulder. And throw. Good. Good. Be aware of where the knife is. Yep. Good. All right. This time, uh, Matt's going to reach out. Karen, and he's going to grab you by the lapel or the shirt, and uh, you're going to do a wrist lock and take him to the mat. Not Kodogeshi, a wrist lock. Just, yep. This yep. And take him to the mat. Okay, good. Just a simple wrist lock. Okay, Matt, why don't you demonstrate for us? She grabs you by the lapel. Explain. Attacker is going to be grabbing you by your lapel. Grab their thumb, top portion of the wrist, breaking a grip, and you want to take the wrist, bend it, and rotate it this way to the outside. 
causing their body to follow the, the direction of the wrist. Here, breaking, and down. Good. Excellent. Okay, Karen, try that a couple more times. Good. A man grabs you and you don't want him grabbing you. Bingo. Ball, Carmen, you're up. Wrist lock from a lapel grab. Good. Nice. Okay, Carmen, if a man is shaking your hand in some kind of greeting and for some reason he's getting a little goofy with you and he went and won't let go and it's a really strong hand grip, uh, we, we do work on some pressure points up and down the meridians in the body. And uh, with this particular grip, we uh, work on a pressure point and uh, let's do the knuckle rub first. Excellent, to get him to break his grip. Good. Do you remember what, what uh, pressure point we're working on there, Carmen? What's it called? Is that heart eight? It, you are close. It is heart four and five. Okay. Yep, on the top end of the hand there. Good. And how would you, uh, how would you work a can opener breaking that grip? Very good. Now, Carmen, uh, you mentioned heart eight. Uh, uh, eight and nine are, are on the other side of the hand, and they're referred to as lung. Eight and nine. And uh, when you're working the handshake there, uh, we're working the uh, heart meridian. And you're working four and five. Good technique. All right. Good job. Let's go uh, uh, Matt's going to do a lapel grip this time, Carmen, and we're going to do a wrist lock to the mat, a pistol grip, and then a gooseneck. Pistol grip his thumb. Excellent. Gooseneck under the arm. Oh, nice. Let's do that again. Good. Matt taps when he feels pain and he needs to uh, relieve the pain. We always tap for safety. Pistol grip on that thumb. Gooseneck. Very good. Bow, Carmen, you're in. You're going to try the lapel grip. Pistol grip and a gooseneck. Nice, nice. You girls haven't forgotten a thing. That is excellent. One more time. Good, Karen. 